When dealing with what many consider the most devastating of all human diseases, cancer, doctors agree trial and error approaches related to certain medications can cost patients and doctors valuable, precious time, perhaps even harming patients with needless side effects from medications not optimized for that patient. Here to discuss what the medical community is doing to enhance colorectal cancer patient care is Dr. Lee Schwartzberg, oncologist and director of the West Clinic in Memphis, Tennessee. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. It's a real pleasure. Important information for us this morning, but can we start with just talking a little bit about colorectal cancer? Fill us in on what it is and give us the facts. Yeah, colorectal cancer is the second most common cancer that affects men and women. Really? So it's, yeah, so it's still a very big public health problem. And how many people are affected by it today, if you know some sort of number? Almost 200,000 people a year. Wow. Now, do colorectal cancer patients respond to the same drug treatments, let's say, in the same way? I guess my answer, I think, would be no. Right. So there are different types of drug programs that we use for colorectal cancer patients. And those are based on clinical trials where we tested those in populations of patients. Okay. So some people respond to those treatments and some don't. More recently, we're using, using biological therapy or targeted therapies that help hone in on treating cancers better, particularly colorectal cancer. And which drug treatment is optimal for, say, let's say, patients with um, advanced colorectal cancer? Today, we have a couple of different programs which use drugs that have been developed over the last 10 years. So we have some new drugs that are chemotherapy drugs. But more recently, we have biological therapies that work on certain groups of colorectal cancer patients. And we add those biological therapies to chemotherapy to get the best results. Does the type of treatment patients receive, let's say, depend on what stage of cancer they're in? Yes, colorectal cancer patients receive chemotherapy at a variety of stages. For early colorectal cancer, patients with stage two and three okay. who have their cancer removed, we give preventative treatment or what's called adjuvant treatment. And in advanced colorectal cancer, when it has spread beyond the colon and the lymph nodes to other parts of the body, unfortunately, we give chemotherapy. But interestingly, when we've tested chemotherapy plus these biological therapies, they tend to work better in the advanced stage they than the early stage. So we do use slightly different treatments depending on the stage of the colorectal cancer. Any reason why that would happen, if you could answer? That's a real good question. We're still trying to figure out what's different about early stage colorectal cancer and to. late. Because in general, if it works late, it works early. But it's a little different here. So this is a really interesting issue for the medical community that we're still working on. And that's why we have you here this morning. Stay right there, because I have a few more questions for you. When we return, we're going to get additional detail on a diagnostic test that can, for many late-stage colorectal patients, result in a measurably improved, improved quality of life. So stay right there, we'll be right back. We're back and with us once again, Dr. Lee Schwartzberg, oncologist from the West Clinic in Memphis, Tennessee. Doctor, before the break, we spoke a little bit, very briefly, about a diagnostic test for cancer patients that it's, that's improving lives. Now, how is it doing so? Walk me through this new test. So what we've learned over the last few years is that colon cancer, when you look at it under the microscope, it might look the same, mm -hmm. but every cancer is different. And you can subgroup cancers based on certain genes that are either normal or abnormal. Hmm. And this is revolutionary because we can now understand cancer much better than we did before. In colon cancer, there's a gene called KRAS. That's a gene that is like a master switch in your circuit, which okay. would turn on all the lights. But in this case, instead of turning on all the lights, it turns on the cell to grow faster and do all the bad things that cancer does. Correct. We have a personalized therapy for colon cancer called Herbitux that works when the gene is normal and not when the gene is abnormal or mutated. And we can test for the mutation in this gene, which helps us know whether or not to give patients this particular biological therapy. This is brand new, wow. that we have a diagnostic test that helps us figure out what the best treatment is for a patient. Which in the end could make such a dramatic difference between maybe that patient making it or not. Exactly, because about 40% of colon cancer patients have a mutation in this gene, KRAS. 
And if they have that, they're not going to respond to Herbitux. On the other hand, if they have a normal gene, or what's called the wild type, that's 60% of patients. Giving them Herbitux with chemotherapy might have dramatic benefits for those patients. So we can spare those who don't need side effects of that particular treatment from getting it when they're not going to respond, and hone in on the group of patients who may respond by doing a diagnostic test. Wow, fascinating. Now, is it correct to say that physicians know the most appropriate and let's say the most accurate kind of diagnostic testing to order? You know, this is so new that not every oncologist has gotten the word yet or every doctor that there is specific diagnostic test to use. So in conjunction with this particular medication, there is an FDA-approved diagnostic test, the Therascreen KRAS test. And that's the one that goes along a companion diagnostic, it's called. If you're thinking of ordering the drug, that's the test to get. And are there, let's say, consequences to be aware of when doctors fail to order what you just call the FDA-approved diagnostic test? Right, because not every diagnostic test is the same, and different laboratories can do different type of KRAS testing. The Therascreen KRAS test is the one that is most accurate and the most sensitive to pick up all the mutations that I talked about. So you really want to know as much as you can about this particular gene to guide the therapy, and this particular test will help do that. It must make you so fulfilled to see in the end that what you're telling us today will make a difference for tomorrow and then some. It's so exciting. I've been an oncologist for 25 years, and the advances of today and the treatments of today and the more cures of today are just so gratifying. Doctor, thank you so much for the information. Thank you. And any other updates, you come back. I will. Thank you, sir. And if you need to learn more about cutting-edge diagnostic testing and how it can benefit and empower a family member, a friend, or maybe even a loved one, go and visit the website. It's kiagen.com forward slash Therascreen. That's kiagen.com forward slash Therascreen. Check it out.